Hello, Hello world. world. I'm Allie. I'm Amy. And, and we together we make up <laughs> Lost, Lost Our Needles. Needles. Um, it's been about three weeks since we've seen you guys last. And we just want to say thank you for all the support. Um, it has been amazing. Um, and I just want to say thank you to the shout outs from um, Two Needles Pulling Thread and the Floss Bossing Cousins. Like you guys are so sweet and thoughtful to welcome us into this community. Um, so thank you. And your sweet comments about our work. It's really appreciated. So thank you. And also, um, I know in our first Floss Tube, I shared a little bit about the loss of my husband and her father, obviously. Well, maybe not so obviously, but, um, and the outpouring of comments from all of you sharing your stories of loss, um, be it husbands, kids, children, parents, um, I just want you to know that Allie and I feel your pain personally. We've walked through it and we appreciate you sharing. I know it's not always easy sharing. And I also want you to know that we've prayed, especially me, but I know my daughter shares me in this. We have prayed for each and every one of you that have shared your stories that we know about. Losing a loved one is definitely a path I want no one to have to go through, and yet someday we will all have to go through it. Um, just hopefully later down the road when it seems more fair. Um, so I just thank you for sharing your stories. I, it means a lot to me um, that you, you do that and um, know that each and every one of you, when you share your story, I am praying over you and your story. So thank you for for opening up and sharing. And just as a thank you for all of your guys' support, we, we reached over a thousand. We're actually over 1.5 now. Yep. 1.5 thousand, so as a thank you. Um, Considering we're... I didn't think we'd ever get to 50. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are gonna do a giveaway at the end of the video just to say thank you, um, thank you. and we love you. Yeah. Um, so last couple weeks, anything noteworthy? So um, I had gallbladder surgery. I've been having gallbladder attacks. And uh, so, because you know, all know I'm leaving on vacation on Saturday and gonna be gone for quite, quite a while. Um, so the surgeon was awesome. He got me in, got it removed, and it was amazing. Within two days, I was back up and at it. You know, I had a slight reaction to anesthesia as in my bowel stopped working. <laughs> we got that corrected take very quickly and I am, I am feeling great. I'm out walking miles a day already and everything is well. And other than that, just trying to pack for this freaking vacation. Um, you know, I want to take it all. I'm used to motorhoming with my husband and you could take everything. And as he would say, take it along for a ride. If you use it, great. If you don't, take it home. And I can't do that. This Sounds trip, like so. my homework from school. <laughs> I bring it home, plan to grade it, just takes a ride back yeah. home to yeah. school. So it's it's a little thing. I'm about halfway packed. It's just packing. Anyway, how about you? Well, I had my trip to Washington, D.C. Um, we mostly came back with everybody. We had uh, one student that got sick on the trip, um, but he's okay now. And then, but we got to meet both senators, which was really cool. It was really interesting. Mark Kelly and uh, Kirsten Cinema are very different people. And so it was very cool getting to see them both interact with their kids. Um, I just think it's cool that they were willing to meet yes. the kids in person and talk to them. Yes. That's very respectful um, on both their parts. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, and then I got, I tried sourdough. Um, a coworker had given me a, a sourdough starter and I knew if I didn't try and make sourdough like pretty much right away, I was not going to because it intimidated me a little bit. And so I did sourdough. The recipe I followed had too much salt. Um, it called for 10 grams or a tablespoon and a quarter teaspoon. And so I was like, okay, I didn't measure. That was the one like thing I didn't measure out. Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, mom, I have sourdough. And I gave her some, and then we're both eating it the next morning. Like I'm eating it on my way to work. And I'm like, ew. So she reaches out it. to me and cause I didn't say a word. I'd had my sourdough and I'm sitting here thinking, yeah, the texture is really great. The, the crust is really great, but man, there's, there's a ton of salt in this. And so she reaches out, you know, you don't want to hurt your kids feelings when they ask you what you thought. Cause I was, I was like, wow, she's making sourdough good for her. And it's like, well, 
The texture is really good. The crust is really good, but babe, it was really salty. What was with that? And she, and then that's when she told me the story about apparently 10 grams is it's not supposed to be a teaspoon and a quarter of a teaspoon, <laughs> not a tablespoon. So next time. But, so, so that's fun. So the funny thing is she gives me grief about pumpkin pie that I forgot to put the salt in or forgot to put the sugar in. Forgot to put the sugar in. So now I can tease her about, um, too much salt. Um, too much salt in the sourdough. Okay. It wasn't your fault though. At yeah. least me. It was just but anyway. follow the recipe. So. so but it was a good loaf of bread other than other than we threw then, it away yeah, after one slice. We it because of the salt content, but everything about it was otherwise was pretty good. So she's gonna try it again. Yeah. Practice makes so perfect. That's right? it. And just yeah, exactly. We're having beautiful weather in Arizona. It's been in the high seventies. It's too warm for January. Yeah, it's going to cool down. I got We're spoiled to get some with rain, snow but... in Washington, D.C. Yeah, so it's, it's been nice sitting outside in the morning with a cup of coffee. So you've had a couple finishes, though. Fully finished. I've right. done so let's two start off with those. finishes. So um, you guys know I was working on the Be Mine uh, from Primrose Cottages, and I finished it into a little pillow. Um, I did take off the Be Mine on the bottom just... With my husband gone, somehow, Val I mean, the fact that I'm celebrating Valentine's, it all means I'm healing. Um, but I took off the Be Mine and just filled it in with some hearts, which works for me fine, because I think that the little house in itself is adorable. And then, you know, we were doing the stitch along with Nicole Spore and her friends um, with the Primrose Cottages Valentine Quaker. Um, knowing that I was going to be going on this trip, I really pushed through because I wanted to get it finished. And... Um, so I did get it finished for my youngest daughter and I just put it double layered with some gingham and then again that whole magnet thing just kind of flip it in there and she can substitute that out. She was using this for the hot cocoa one that Allie made her. So now with Valentine's coming she put that on there. So those are my two finishes. I feel like we're doing more Valentine's Day stitching and celebrating and Valentine's Day more done. with cross stitching and all the cross stitch patterns are getting us more into it than we've Gosh, been in years. in years. We're not since huge Valentine's kids, Day people. Since the kids were little. Yeah. Um, and then I have my fully finished. I need to put the magnet so maybe it's not a fully finished object just yet. It needs the magnet. But I was able to mount my Christmas tree farm. And then... It's the first one she's fully done on her own. I tried to get fancy and put some cording in between and it didn't turn out as even as I would have liked. So lesson learned, but I still really like it. So it'll just go in there with turn all my other ones. Cute, Ellie. I like that pattern. Yeah, I do too. It's adorable. That, that you can have up all winter. Yes. Well, winter in Arizona. Yes. So Although now I have for another two days. <laughs> for another two days. Yeah, tomorrow's February. We can start putting out our Valentine's Day stuff. <laughs> Which I've already done. Um, okay, so then uh, finishes. Do you have any finishes that aren't fully finished? No, I have not. I don't have any finishes that haven't been fully finished. I'm, I'm one that believes in get it done and finish it. Otherwise, it will wait months before oh. it gets done. Well, my finish was literally um, <laughs> 20 minutes ago finish. I was like, Mom, I have like two more rows. I am finishing this before we start filming. Um, but it is the XOX at Ugh. XOXO spool um, by Crafty Blue Bonnet Designs and I love it so it's gonna get finished and then again to pop into this thing. It'll be so cute. Those, so, I, I those just, little blue bonnet patterns I just think are adorable. Yeah so I'm really happy with it. It's adorable. It's fun. Got it done. And it's Valentine's yeah. and it's cute and I love the um, the fabric you used. Oh yeah the uh, Coco by Fiber on a Whim. I just love the modeling on it. Yeah, it's really pretty. So thank you. And then whips. Okay. We're moving right along. So um, I finished the Primrose Cottage. Okay, so you know, I, I've been working on this Poltergeist Pirates. Um, it's gonna be a years long project probably. And when I talked to you guys about it last, I was working on the sail, um, part of the sail on the ship. <clears throat> but I made the mistake of working on a sail, watching the lions and the packers, and messed up the sail so bad, I couldn't even figure out where to start. So I ended up having to rip the whole thing over. And then at that point, I thought, I'm going to start in the upper left corner. 
um, do something fun and then it'd be easier to count rather than starting with the sail, which every two or three stitches you're switching color. Um, so this is the progress I've made and I work on it. I make myself work on it every Sunday, sometimes on Saturday, but um, I've got the moon done and the wind he's blowing. And then I've started the mast, the front mast with the half the ghost is done. And the ghost is done in glow in the dark thread. And I haven't so tested cute. it, but it's coming up. And this, so this is all metallic. Um, the ghost is metallic and the fabric is just... The moon is metallic too, right? Yeah, the moon is the metallic. The thread... So pretty. The thread is all metallic. Um, so it's going to be a mixture of regular floss and metallics. Um, I just love this fabric too. It's the really Rainbow Gallery Petite Threads. Um, anyway, so that's coming along really well. What fabric is this? Um, it was the called for... Excuse me while Just I put the readers on. The... the fabric is Bang. It's a 28 count Cashel or Cashel linen by Crossed Wing Collection. It's gorgeous. It just kind of looks like, well, like stars the on the night, and... night sky. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> so that's coming along really well, that's faster really than I thought it would be. So maybe I'll I I'll get it done while I'm still on this earth. Um, and then I hopefully started, you've got some time. I know. And then. Um, I came across this pattern. Have you ever had a pattern when you look at it and it just stops you dead in your tracks and you just go, you have to have it? And, Everything from Rose okay. Cottage is coming out for the national so market? This, yeah, so this leads us to another thing. My no by year, it's done. By the middle of the month, it was done. Um, I saw the camping stitcher. She has a Valentine pattern I really want to do. Emily Call has a couple patterns I want to do. There's, there's so many cute Valentine's patterns. But then I saw Brenda Gervais' Key to My Heart and it stopped me in my tracks. I don't know why, just the combination of the blues and the reds. Um, so I've started that and I have it on a, a white creamy linen, nothing fancy. It's um, Is that what you picked up this Newcastle weekend? cream linen, yeah. And it's the first time I've ever worked on 40 count. Um, so I, I'm starting with the lock. That's what I've gotten done so far. I've only worked on it like two days in the evenings, you know, when I'm supposed to be packing, but I'm not. Um, and I like 40 count. I was surprised that I would think I would have to work through my magnifying glass because my eyes are bad. Um, they're getting old and it's just not as hard as I thought it was to work on 40 count. And I like having one thread that doesn't get twisted. Um, so it's just coming along really nicely. And I don't know when I'll get it done. Obviously, I'm not taking it with me on my trip. I've already told you I'm taking the um, Zuka pumpkin. Um, that's all I'm going to work on solely. But um, I'm loving this and working on the, the 40 count fabric. It's easier than I thought. So, nice. And I admire all you women out there that can do lots of projects. I'm a two or three project kind of gal. Otherwise, I get nothing done because then I'm overwhelmed by the amount to do. So I try to just work on two or three at a time until they're done and then move on. I just, I, I don't know how y'all do it. I have great admiration for you that have 10, 15, 20 whips, but um, that's not how my brain works. I, I get too scattered. I felt like a downright serial starter this month. I started three <laughs> projects this week, or You're this month, guys. serial starter, you. I only fit, like, I've only finished one of them, which was the spool. Yeah. Um, so I also started, I was doing the stitch along that my mom mentioned and hers is finished. Um, and we're doing the same fabric, the blush linen. Um, we couldn't find the called for ripe melon, but so we're doing Priscilla's peppermint and I'm really loving how this is turning out. I'm excited to do, I can tell my margins are like super small. So hopefully this will work. I want to turn it into a little pillow. It'll work. Um, but yeah, so that's one of my starts, I actually started this on my trip to Washington DC on the plane. Um, and I told some of my students that I'd started a floss tube. And so one of the kids that knew about it was on the plane looking, she's like, I saw you cross stitching. <laughs> I was like, 
<laughs> yes, yes, you did. Well, yes, yes, I did. And wouldn't it be cool if they're curious about it and maybe start doing it themselves? I mean, pass it along to the next generation. One of the girls from the other high school that traveled with us was actually apparently on the plane crocheting. Oh, very cool. Um, so that was neat. And then I started the hands-on design, Let's Talk Spring. I really want to do this whole series. Um, and I'm doing it on just black Count Lugana. I think it's just Weigert. But I'm learning that uh, black is can be pretty difficult to stitch on. It's hard to see the holes, um, right? I've never yeah. stitched on black. I've stitched on dark blue. But so there's black. one or two th stitches that aren't the neatest, but I think it's going to look really pretty. I'm excited about it. It's, those are cute patterns. So yeah, and then I started and finished the, the spool. So. Okay, show us. Oh, and then one other, yeah, so, and then I started those three, and then I'm still working on... New serial starter, you. It felt like it, because, like, looking, I was like, I started, uh, I have it on my, like, calendar that I'm tracking my stitching, yeah. and it was literally within, like, two weeks, I think I started three projects. And I didn't yeah. finish any of them before There's I started so the next many one. Cute patterns out there. Um, but I wanted all the Valentine's Day stuff started. And I'm trying to follow along. It's kind of nice doing the stitch along, because with the, I do... Like week one was the top. So I could do the top piece and then I would stop. And then I would start, that's when I started my spool or I started the Let's Talk Spring. And then that yeah. when the next week rolls around, it's like, okay, I'll pick it back up. So it's been kind of nice for like some balance. Yeah. Um, and then I picked up, I know a couple of you guys have like, I think Carolina Stitchers, Joy has um, her Sunday. I think it's a Glendon place too that she's doing. Is um, she doing this one as well? I don't know if she's yes. doing it on a Sunday, but I think she's doing the... Poltergeist Pirate. She as well. is, yeah. <clears throat> um, but she does like a Glendon Place Sunday stitch, and then you were doing the Sunday stitch. And so I decided to turn my uh, Christmas decor number two. I call it my ornament. Um, I turned that into my Sunday stitch just so it's getting some of my attention throughout the year. Um, I think I showed this to you guys in the first video. But so this is what it's going to look like when it's all done. It's from Tinsel Cross Stitch on Etsy. So I'd finished the bo the bow and the bow for the most part. I have a couple like white dots to fill in, um, but I got the black in and then you can see down here and over on the side, you can kind of start seeing where the, the, the snow globe is going to start. Um, that is so pretty. Just appearing. I wish you guys could see so. it in person and her, I am just so impressed by her neat yeah. stitches. I mean, she's really for a newbie. So. She's really a neat tidy so stitcher. i was <clears throat> stitching on that through the lions game on sunday and there's like i think i was using four different colors just within that area right there um and so it required a little bit more of my attention than i would have liked <laughs> for a stressful uh, lions game yeah but it'll be good as nascar starts to stitch while i watch nascar yeah. um so yeah those are my so those are progress. those are what we've gotten done um and then some of you guys might have seen it on our story as if you follow us on Instagram. But the needles drop. we went on a day trip on Saturday. We did. Um, and we ended up at the attic. So mom had gone to the attic. My um, stall. Yeah, prior to me picking up cross-stitching. And she took my younger sister. Um, and then her and I had done uh, Old Town Needleworks together. And so I was kind of sitting there being like, all right. You guys, so many of you guys have been like, oh, I dream about living close to the attic or how lucky you are to live close to the attic. It's like, all right, I gotta, I gotta check this out. Um, so we hopped in the car. We hopped in the car and it was a blast. Um, I'm not a big sampler person. At least there's not a lot of samplers. I'm like, yes, I need to stitch that. Um, but it was really cool seeing all the different step, uh, samplers, that's the word. Um, yeah, so many historicals and reproductions. Even if you're not a sampler person, as a stitcher, you can truly appreciate the yeah. history, the beauty, the colors, the different. They're just incredible. She has, Jean has an incredible collection in the store. We got to meet Jean, which was very cool. Um, and then one of their employees, uh, I love her name, Vashti. Um, she found out that I'm new to cross stitch. And so she just showed me. Oh my gosh. She, she was, oh, you need to check out this, or you need to check out this, or what about this about cross stitch? And it's kind of showing me how, how the store is set up, but also showing me like different samplers and um, the flosses, some the of the patterns that I'm and... not like pattern designers that aren't my favorite. She's like, oh, well, sometimes they'll sew, like, look at this one from this designer. Um, 
like Plum Street samplers. Like one, I'm not a huge sampler person and a lot of times just the color. But she's like, what about this? And I was like, okay, that one's cute. Um, it was really funny because I'm off doing my own thing in the store and she's got Allie doing laps around the store. So showing fun. her so much about the fabrics and teaching her about the different flosses and the different kinds of fabrics and the different kinds of counts. and pointed out a lot of um arizona artists which is really cool yeah so um, she was she was a wonderful wonderful um so she pulled hostess. me over to and so this segs us in nicely Segues to haul beautifully into haul. um yes we did buy stuff and i've stopped the whole no buy thing if it pulls at my heart i'm gonna get it i never committed to it so it's all good <laughs> um but so this Scarlet House, the Scarlet House um, is apparently an Arizona designer and I, Tanya, I believe. She said Tanya, not Tanya. So Tanya um, Brockmeyer designed this and pumpkin spice everything. I don't go as far as like pumpkin spice spam or things like that, but a pumpkin spice latte, oh my, my inner gosh, white yeah. girl size. Yes. Um, and, or pumpkin spice, like ch pumpkin chai. Yeah, Ooh. you really do the pumpkin chai. Ooh. Um, so yeah, I was able she had to get that one. Get that one. Um, and then <sighs> Primrose Cottage just has the key to my heart right now because I ended up with this pattern. And then I think this is going to be the first pattern that I do, don't do all the call fors except for this stitch along. So I'm gonna try this uh, country mocha and I got the flosses for it. Um, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I did the fall one, the autumn one, the truck. And so she wants to do the val Valentine's one and just the colors on the country mocha, just, I thought they were beautiful on there instead of the creamy white they used. And I'm not usually a big like fuchsia girl but seeing like this uh, strawberry fields that is the truck on the country mocha was like, yes, yes, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited about that. That'll be a fun pattern to do. And then you bought me, where's the one you bought? I don't know. My mom bought me, oh, I think it ended up in the Primrose Cottage, no? Anyway, she got me another uh, one that's like black cats and a witch flying and it's gonna drive me crazy now, but I can't find it. Um, so I'm excited about that one. That was I, not Brenda. Uh, who's the Arizona girl? Brenda Gervais, or no, the Michigan fan. Oh, uh, um, not Brenda Gervais. That was yours. Um, Kogut. Teresa, Teresa Kogut. Kogut. Um, she had a fun Halloween one that I was like, oh, and I held up the pumpkin spice one and the Teresa Kogut one. I'm like, mom, I can only buy one. And so, yeah, and so she's like, mom took one and threw it in her basket for me. So we moms do that stuff, don't we? Um, and I had a very holicious week. So I made a, a one, two, three stitch order earlier in the month. Um, cause I wanted, we bought the camping, uh, Chris, the camping stitcher. Um, we want to do her be mine. So I wanted to get the floss for that. Um, but I want to tie it in with the stitch along. So I got more of the fabric that we're using for the stitch along. And then I bought all the flosses, but I think I'm going to uh, switch out one of these colors or all the pinks maybe for the Priscilla's peppermint, just so that it matches and ties in with the uh, Valentine's Quaker. And then I didn't even realize this until it came in, but I also ordered this <laughs> pattern by Primrose Cottage. Have you guys seen Primrose oh Cottage's... Um the patterns that or charts they have Nashville coming out for Nashville, all their um, 4th of July ones, which <sighs> we love 4th of July, patriotic. Um, my son just came back from a short tour. He was gone for about a month. Um, so it was nice catching up with him, but. And anything, then like the pillows or the, the little ones that she has for the year. Uh, yeah, the 4th of July Quaker that's coming out. The 4th of July quilt, the 4th of July rules. Yes. They're just gonna be taking a lot of my money this year. <laughs> like I've seen, I'm, I keep sending, I was like, mom, have you seen this one? Have you seen this one? Mom, what about this one? It's like enough already. I spend enough as it is. <sighs> But yeah. then comes, I mean, just um, the sneak peeks that are coming out. So, 
So I, and I came home with some there stuff. Oh wait, there it is. There's the it's one. It's under my other haul. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was too cute not to, I'll probably not start stitching it until a little bit closer. Um, but it's the pumpkin and bats, pumpkins and bats on Halloween night with witches and cats give mortals a fright. And I have a nice cat at home. That's nice sometimes. She's not black, but she's a sweetheart. Um, and then, okay, this is from earlier in the month. Um, fabrics by Stephanie. I went on because I wanted to get some of her juniper. Um, because we, mom and I got the Mary and Bright pattern. From the Jingle Ball? Yeah. And so I really wanted to, I loved the color. So I bought some of that. It is. It is. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. So uh, the camera can't even begin to pick up the, the color variations in it. Yeah. The, the depth of it. And Stephanie, fabric by Stephanie. Um, she's the one from Whitmore Lake, mm -hmm. right? Um, she lives in Whitmore Lake, Michigan, which is a hop, skip, and a jump from where these guys grew up in Michigan. So kind of feel like we're supporting yeah. family. Yeah. Um, not family because we've never met her, but, you know. Supporting local from Whitmore across the Lake. country. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I also got her caramel macchiato Lugana that I really like. I have plans for this that I will reveal at a later date. It almost in person almost looks like orangesicle ice cream. You know, the combination of orange and... Yeah. and um, vanilla ice cream or like it's just a really nice coffee pretty. I'm, I'm happy with it so I'm, it all came in on the same day the fabrics are beautiful so i am set for more projects i made a list of my projects of that i want to okay. work on and i'm not going to need to buy anything for a while well i was hoping my haul so, so one of the things i i joined the color and cotton fabric of the month club i'm not sure that's exactly what it's called but um my fabric's been shipped it just didn't get here in time for this because I'm really excited. They have beautiful fabrics as well. And I'm really excited to see my first one, what color it's going to be. I'm just hoping it gets here before I leave. Otherwise, I won't be able to see it for several weeks. So It'll end up in my stash. I'll be digging. But while we were at the attic, we got to talk to Jean. We got to talk to Vashti. Everybody there is so friendly, so polite. And every time you go around the store, you find more and more stuff. So I bought a couple of um, fabrics there. It's almost like they're different, sh similar shades, but variations of the same color. Um, I think you're a neutral girl at heart uh, for your pattern. Well, I fabric. am. But, and they had some beautiful colors. Like they had an evergreen from Fiberco. Forbidden Fiberco. For, yeah. for, forbidden Fibers. They had two huge tables of Forbidden Fiberco fabrics um, in greens and orange not oranges a lot of bluey things but i just didn't have anything that i'm even thinking about starting to justify getting any but they were they were their their fabrics were just gorgeous in all counts all kinds of count so but i needed some good neutrals so i picked up some neutrals because i don't like them when they're too yellow and i don't want them when they're too brown so trying to find something and anyway i came home with some fabric um including the fabric that I'm starting, the Brenda Gervais, key to my heart. But there are patterns everywhere in this in this store. I mean, you can't go around a corner and there's not another rack. And you've looked at the rack and then you come back to look at the rack and you see 10 patterns that you didn't see the last time you looked at the rack. It's, if you can't find something there to stitch on, we need to talk. But anyway, so I found three patterns that I had to come home with. One is, she wasn't local, I don't think, but it's for the birds by Pumpkin Box. Um, no, the designer is... Kesslin? Kesslin. I'm sorry, sweetie, if I'm butchering your name, but anyway... It's for the birds and it's just pumpkins and blackbirds. It just reminds me of all the fields, the corn fields around Michigan, Iowa, um, where all the birds are at when the pumpkins are ripening. Anyway, I just thought that would be fun. I won't do this till later in the season, but um, it was just a really pretty pattern. And then, <laughs> um, look at this. Isn't that gonna be fun? I wanna find some of those, what was it, Atomic yeah, Fabrics atomic that range. has the really lime green fabrics and the orange green fabrics or the bright yellow that are just so vibrant and then do all this black on that. Um, it's called uh, 31st of October and it just it will make a neat pattern, but I just thought a really rich pattern would be um, a 
fabric would be really cool to do this on. So that's it. And then <clears throat> I'm not, I bought a Blackbird Design Home for the Holidays book um, by Blackbird Designs. And usually their patterns, they're a little dark for me, but I found they had the sampler hanging up in the, in the store, or not the sampler, the pattern, the model, um, done on different fabric. Um, but this is the one I'm doing. This, this is the whole reason I bought the book is so that I could do this. The cardinals, the holly, the snowflakes. Um, I love holly. That's my favorite thing to decorate with or fake holly or, um, anyway, so I just love this. It's called Tis the Season. Um, so that I'll be doing for Christmas this year. Um, it's just, it was stunning. And I get some bonus patterns to go with it, but I bought the, the whole book just so I could have that pattern. Um, and then got, got some floss. Um, it was so much to fun. To do the things. We were there, what, about two hours? Yeah. And we could have easily spent another couple hours. But... Yeah, I think, I thought we were going to spend like, you know, 30 minutes in there, but the more, because at first it was like, we started off and just looking at the samplers. It's like, okay, yeah, this is nice. And then you get farther back in the store and farther back in the store and you get around. And, and you really start seeing oh the patterns goodness. and the... And you can start seeing all the fabrics and they're cutting up some more fabrics. So oh, they just got Dashi a huge showing, load in. So like I'm, so I signed up for the Forbidden Fiber um, fabric, like fabric of the month and I'm getting a Lugana. And yes. they had some of the Forbidden Fiber Co. fabrics on the table that they were cutting up. And it just made me so excited to get, because they had these really pretty colors and... And um, unique colors, and yeah. they're so friendly there. They're just, they want you to be educated. They want you to know what you're looking at, why you're looking at it, why is it more. I mean, just the nicest women there. Yeah, so just it was a lot of nicest. fun. Yeah, and it was a great education for her. I, I mean, I learned a lot. Um, yeah, and it's fun. It's only like a 40-minute drive. Less than, about a 40-minute yeah, drive. Yeah, Um. So it was fun. It was easy to get to if we plans to go back especially yeah. for like the specialty floss that you don't necessarily want to just buy on one two three yeah. stitch or something I, I won't buy dmc there it's no offense to them but they're a little bit more than well and dmc is so easy to find yeah, but the fancy flosses that they have the silks minutes. that they have oh the silks that they have and all the color and cotton or not the color and cotton the weeks and the, yeah ugh. oh we got to see what the right melon looked like yes for the it's sal, a really or, pretty color yeah it's like a little corally not coral but yeah. it's not pure pink either so anyway it was it's a beautiful color but um, i like our peppermint patty and then we have non-stitchy haul stitchy haul yeah so my sister makes these acrylic cups and so she, she made me one for the fall um and i was using but the fall and christmas ended and so i was like all right julie i need a cup for every day um and so i wanted just the pink and sparkles um, and she's like, do you want any writing on it? And I was like, maybe, but I don't know. It has to be the right thing. Um, so we were brainstorming, maybe quotes about reading she or whatever. Suggested. And Julia's like, well, what if I put on Lost Our Needles? It's holographic vinyl. So I don't know if you can see it really well. It's going to end up backwards. I don't want to like dump my water on mom. That'd be kind of rude. Um, but I'm it says, enough. so Lost Our Needles. And it's just fun. And then so mom loved it so much. That and, and Julie was so excited for us to celebrate, you know, that we've had so many viewers that she made me a purple version. I don't think you can see the lost our needles. It disappears. But, it's there. So it's subtle, but it's sparkly and it's cute and it's just fun. And we can use them all the time. And anyway, so I've got creative kids. It's kind of fun. We get it from you. Let's be honest. You're very crafty. I think she has five different types of crafts in her craft room. So. And Makes with that, happy. let's wrap it up with the giveaway. We had one more thing we were going to talk about. The giveaway? Oh, no, Stitch West. Yes. Um, so I knew there was something else. Thank you. So last week, deep, a week deep, ago. Deep in the abysses of my brain. <laughs> it's a dark place. <laughs> it's a dark place. <laughs> uh, so much knowledge just cr shoved into all the crannies. or... Yeah. Anyway, um, moving right along. Somehow it came up from Snug Harbor, or some hands on design had shared it from Snar Snug Harbor. Um, but Snug Harbor is hosting a Stitch retreat yep. it's called Stitch West. 
um, in October. And the Neither one of us have done a retreat ever. Yeah. This is brand new to us. Yeah, and the ones we've looked at are all full. Um, but this one's pretty close to home. It's like a 12 hour drive yeah. from Phoenix to uh, Salt Lake City. It'd be cheaper to drive than to fly. So we- uh, And then all the haul we buy, we can bring home in the car and not have to pack it in a suitcase. Hmm. Hmm. Um, so anyway, we got on the wait list. I think the wait list opened at 10 on Saturday. And I sent my mom a text at 10.03 saying, all right, forms are filled out for us. So I think we hopefully will find out in the next week or so. So it's supposed to be Saturday, right? That we find out. So here's hoping I really want to do it. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Um, it'll be an experience and you always have to be open to new experiences. Utah in the fall is really gorgeous and we can use some good memories in Salt Lake from some not so nice memories in Salt Lake. Yeah. That's where my husband passed away when we were on vacation and yeah, yeah, so some good memories and some need bad to places. Replace some sad memories with some good memories. So, so we're, we're heading back, hopefully. Here's hoping. Right. Wish us luck. All right, giveaway. Um, giveaway. So as a thank you for one point five thousand. Way more than the fifty. Um, we are going to give away two different patterns. Um, one was a, a duplicate from Mom Stash because she got a little uh, excited. Obviously, I so, like this pattern because I bought two of them. Uh, witchy washy, and she even has the uh, buttons on there and everything. So it's a little out of season, but we are going to do this um, and give this away, and then kind of a pash our stash, the XOXO spool that I just finished. Um, we're going to give away this pattern as well because look at how adorable that is. And it's a very quick stitch. Yeah. From yes. Yeah. Not as not as quick as my uh, beginner brain thought it was going to be. I remember doing the jack o' lantern the first time and thinking, oh, I'll get this done in a couple hours on a Sunday. It was like twelve hours later yeah. in that SpongeBob voice, and I'm like, okay, these take a little bit longer than I thought. But when you want quick results, that's something yeah. versus a, yeah. a bigger pattern. So that takes it's days, really fun. Months. It's adorable. So we're gonna give those a um, away. So um, just like comment our video with the comment and use the word needles as in lost our needles and we will reveal those winners on the next video on the next video yeah so we're figuring out this giveaway thing first one yes so she does all the hard work i just mouth off um so she'll figure it all out and we'll announce the winner on our next floss too which will probably be after i return from the trip so yeah. hopefully by the end of february we'll have yeah. be able to do another floss too once I'm yeah. back on West Coast time. Um, I'll and push again, her back just, while she's like time zone hungover. And I've just got tons show of company in March, so I'm not going to have a lot of time to dilly dally. Um, but I just want to say thank you guys all very much for something that we just kind of started off doing for fun, which is totally fun sharing this with her. Yeah. Um, and then having so many of you reach out and respond with so many wonderful, kind, thoughtful comments and the YouTubers who have shared us and just hearing from you guys just touches our hearts and uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah. So thank you. Um, happy Valentine's day. Happy Valentine's day. Remember love comes in all shapes, sizes, and looks. Yep. Happy Valentine's day. If you don't have somebody, uh, happy. What There's, else? Love is that's... never out of season. Even so. if it's just loving your kids, yeah. loving your friends. Love is yeah. always in season. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and a great month. Happy thank February. Thank you. Bye.